It's mid-morning in Kunene, in the far north of Namibia. Utirua and Werikwa are putting on their makeup. A mixture of ground red ochre and butterfat, it's one of the defining traditions of the himba. It helps protect against the arid climate. These days, it's also a way to make money. The himba are a big attraction for tourists and the visitors willingly pay for unlimited photo opportunities. It's intrusive, but many himba depend on it. Traditionally, they've depended on livestock and their crops, but with drought a persistent threat, tourism is a useful source of income. There is, though, a price to pay. Change. Utirua, a mother of four, arrived in Kinene eight years ago. She left the vast, almost untouched region of Kaokoland, driven by a need to earn a decent living. There have been many changes since we got here, especially compared to the village where we came from. And even the utensils that we have, you can see that we use modern pots. We also had a maize plantation back home, and we could use special rocks to grind the flour. But here, we buy ready-made flour from the shop. Tourism and modern life are now a big part of these people's lives, and outside influences are only going to become stronger. The older generations are determined to keep the Himba traditions alive, but for these young ones, it's a different story. Otirua wants her children to go to school, get good jobs, and live a modern life. Our guide, Tumbe, is among those who've already taken that route. After four years at school, He's become a vital link for this village between the old ways and the outside world. After those four years that I went to school, after that I went uh, somewhere in the town and I, st I was start walking there. And one day, one of these, one of my family, uh, they was uh, sick and they they went to the hospital. The first day that they went there, they can't speak any languages. So one of those and the the nurse was there. It was a, a white person. He cannot speak. Uh, Herero or uh, any language and they need help from me. The government for years has been pushing the Himba to adapt and its efforts haven't always been appreciated by the Himba people. You must be able to preserve your own culture to uh, open up your horizon and understand what people do in China. What do they do? What are the better issues that they are dealing with in China in elsewhere in Europe, America and so forth so that you get some new good ideas for your development. It's estimated that up to 10,000 Himba still live remote and detached from the modern world. But as technology continues to advance, the distance is closing. Maria Galang, CCTV, Kunene Region, Namibia.